Uh, today we're doing omelets. Good morning, good morning, happy Monday morning. It's early and I've chopped up my mushrooms, my onions. I'm going to chop up the rest of that tomato. We're doing cheese and eggs. Omelets. Let's do it. Got my pan going, ready to go. Okay, y'all, I got a little olive oil and butter in the pan. And I like to go ahead on and cook my vegetables first. And I'm going to go ahead on. I, I'm cooking a lot. Uh... Because I'm going to save a little bit. Because I want to probably eat omelets two or three times this week. So, to hurry the process, I'm going to go ahead on and cook up a bunch. And all I have to do is just add it to my eggs. Almost like pre-prepping. Okay, I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in here. Mix that in there. And I'm gonna cook this for about three or four minutes just so the onions can get a little translucent and my mushroom will act as my meat in my omelet. All right, y'all, we're about three minutes in, and this is I'm gonna go ahead on and take this out of the pan and let's just start our omelet. All right, y'all, I got my tomatoes cut up. And now we're going to do, I'm going to do, it's going to be a three egg omelet. Yep, that one looks good. I like for my eggs to look clear. And that's it. There's our three eggs. Okay, y'all, I'll put a little salt and pepper in this off camera, just a dash. Because remember, we seasoned the vegetables. Now, if you want a real fluffy omelet, you can get your hand mixer and mix it for about 30 seconds, and it'll put air in it, and it'll make it real fluffy like they make at the Huddle Houses and Denny's and stuff. But I don't like that um, because I don't like that spongy feeling, um, so I'm just going to hand mix it. Okay. And I like to mix a little bit of cheese in mine. While it's cooking, and then I'll put some extra on there. Love a cheesy omelet. All right, let's go to the stove. All right, you're just gonna pour that in there. Spread that cheese around. And you start adding your other ingredients. Okay, y'all, now we're going to get ready to flip this bad boy. And just flip it over. Look how beautiful that is. And let it cook. I'm going to put a cover on it so that egg on the inside will cook as well. Beautiful, beautiful flip. And y'all, you got you an omelet. Get on the flavor train. Cover that for about two minutes and your omelet Get is Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. 
Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T and this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Y'all get on the flavor train all aboard because y'all know what? What? The tickets are free. Anyway, y'all, the hour is late. Huh. <sighs> I went and got my nails and toes done. Hope y'all can see the color. Love it. Um. Anyway, y'all, we're doing breakfast for dinner. Uh, I've been craving and I've been eating a bunch of omelets. So, uh, yeah, I'm eating one for dinner tonight. And it's just an omelet. Y'all saw in the beginning where I did my little, it, it, listen, five minutes you got your omelet. And, of course, I'm having it with uh, some sriracha. And these are uh, already cooked. They're fully cooked sausage link. You just heat them up in the microwave or the skillet. Swift premium brown and serve ready to go and we're gonna have some uh, minute made um, Mango punch So anyway, let's get to praying and thanking the Heavenly Father for this day because it's been the one I got something to tell you Thank you most gracious and Heavenly Father for the food. I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body for Christ's sake. Amen All right, so y'all This might be fast Because your girl is tired and uh, like I said, the hour is late. And I normally don't like to eat this late, but uh, we eating late tonight because I didn't get home to 8.30, so it's late. Anyway, let's go on and squeak some of this squeak, squeak, skeet, squirt. But some of y'all going to go there. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I've been loving this sriracha. What? Anyway, let me let y'all get a couple of bars of that. One, two, three, four, five. That's all you get. <laughs> y'all, let me tell y'all something. And I just sat down, so it's probably hot on the inside of Hot Pocket. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. So good, but it's hot. And these are just the original sausage links. They're not maple. Thirsty. Yeah, this is good. This is this is giving Arizona a run for its money. Tastes pretty good. But y'all listen to me. Listen. Now I'm just telling y'all how my day went. Don't I'm, don't don't chuck this up to be complaining or ranting because it's not. It really is not. Y'all. <sighs> okay, work was fine and all that. So. I get to the nail salon. I'm telling you. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling y'all. <laughs> people, people, people. Anyway, let me just go and break it down. Get in there. I'm in there. My feet are soaking. I'm relaxing, you know. And so this lady, she comes in there, and honey, you could tell, honey, she was she should have been uh, nominated or selected to be the city and town inquisitor, <laughs> the inquisitor extraordinaire. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody, y'all know who I'm talking about. One of them. Let me tell y'all something. This one was busting up in there. And oh, by the way, let me interject. Somebody requested that I go back to the classic view. So here's the classic view. I'm back at the table. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I can't think of who your name is. So anyway, I hope uh, this is to your liking. <laughs> y'all, I'm silly. I'm tired. So it's going to come with this. It's going to come. Anyway, my homegirl busted up in there. She was a town inquisitor extraordinaire. I mean, she came with questions. You hear me? I was expecting her to roll out a scroll. So when she gets in there, she she had said, you know, hey, everybody. And everybody spoke. And she was like, oh, I hadn't been here in so long, you know. So the nail tech is a husband and wife team, that this salon that I go to. So anyway, so 
she was saying, okay, I'm just going to get a pedicure today. So the nail tech, of course, she's Asian. She's Korean. And of course, in their culture, now I, I'm saying all this beforehand, in their culture, and I'm allowing this to cool off, you see, so it would burn my mouth like it did. They're, the Asian culture, they are squatters. In other words, they squat down when they're working. So it's nothing to them to see them squatting, to see them as you what you would call maybe duck walking. That, that's in their culture. It's in their hereditary. There's my granddaughter. I am in me. Um, so... What I'm saying is they're used to squatting. And so when she's doing, you know, our feet and stuff, she squat. She can squat real low. Matter of fact, she can squat so low that her butt touches the ground. That's how she, how her body is flexible and conditioned to squat. So anyway, the lady was up there talking and said, oh my God, I can't believe you could squat that low. If I had got down that low, I, I said, yeah, you have to call 911 with me. So, you know, we were laughing and carrying on about that. Mm. That's still hot, y'all. Mm. So, y'all, I thought that was going to be over. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The town inquisitor, it started from there. Let me tell you. She had dropped a bottle of nail polish, and you know how you stick your feet under the little light and um, fan when you get your feet done and your nail polish, you know, you, you put your feet under there so it can get dry, so it's a toenail dryer. But anyway, she dropped some fingernail polish, and it rolled under there. So she did one of her little squat things, but check this out, honey. Homegirl squatted down. And you know how you have to bend over so you can see, honey, home girl was so flexible. She squatted down, her butt was touching the ground. Wait a minute, honey. She bit so low, her ear was touching the ground, the carpet. And so the other, the town inquisitor, she like to lost it. She like, I mean, she literally like to lost it. Oh my God, I can't believe, it. look at her body. And I thought, so then when the woman got up, the nail tech, she got up. Then the town inquisitor began to ask her, and, and, and when I y'all already know I'm dramatic and animated, but now when I tell you this woman asked her so many questions about that, so this my nail tech, she's Korean, but you know her English is broken. So I was trying to, she was you know pointing at me, and I said, well yeah, I said you know, I don't know why she always point at me to translate but anyway whatever I, I hey and she does it every time i'm there but anyway it, that's fine that's fine so uh i said well yeah you know you know that's that's what asians and it, it's not exclusive to asians i said but you know in the asian culture they're, that's they're used to that they're used to squatting and being able to bend and work with their backs and all. i said that's it's, that i mean it's hereditary it, it, you know it, it's it's built in them genetically to be able to do that I said, it just depends on, you know, how they do it in their native land and all that kind of stuff. I said, so they're used to that. So she didn't quite understand why this woman was going all off. And, well, do you, do you do back exercises? And she said, no, I don't have to do no back exercise. I do no back exercise here. Yeah, I work in here, you know. So she was going on and on about that woman and talking about, oh, you don't have, you, do you have any back problems? Do you have any neck problems? Do you have any eye problems? Do you have any shoulder problems? Do you have any, I mean, she was asking her, honey, all these questions. And, you know, nothing wrong with being inquisitive, but, honey, I thought, oh, my God, I hope this lady in my nail tech, I hope she don't start talking, <laughs> go off. But she didn't. She kept asking her all them questions, honey. And I got so tickled. So the woman, the inquisitor, she said, have you ever heard of that? I said, well, yeah. I said, matter of fact, my daughter, for all y'all, for all of you who don't know, my Lauren, my granddaughter, Lauren, 
she's half Filipino. Her mom is full-blooded Filipino. Half Filipino, half black. And we've had these discussions. Mm. I mean, she walked the line with that woman, asking her all them questions, honey. Then, forget all that. They got to talking about a bunch of other stuff. And it was like, I mean, question, and I'm not even lying. She was asking her stuff about what does she use in her hair? Uh, does she like the fact that she let her bangs grow out? What soap do you use? Do you use Dowl or do you use Ivory? I mean, she, oh, what lotion do you use? I mean, she was going on and on and on. And I thought, okay, well, you know, nothing wrong with that. We women, we like to know that kind of stuff, honey. And she started getting real deep then. And I thought, oh my, oh my, I started to clutch my pearls. So anyway, she was talking about um, how she, evidently they just must recently moved into a new house or something. And so she was showing this lady her, the nail tech was showing um, her, you know, different pictures of the house. I didn't ask to see them, you know, I'm thinking, no, because, I mean, she was already getting the business. So the lady noticed that she had two bedroom, two TVs in her bedroom. She said, wait a minute, I see your bedroom right here. She said, you got two TVs in your bedroom? And so the nail tech said, yeah, 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 two, two TVs in my bedroom. Oh my God, that's so good. She said, yeah. And so, <laughs> my nail tech said, oh yeah, my husband, you know, we we, we sit in the bed together. He walks where he walk, want, and I watch what, she said, well, why don't y'all just go to different rooms when you watch TV? She said, no, no, we just watch what we want to watch. She said, but how are you going to watch what you want to watch? And his TV is, she said, are both TVs facing y'all? She said, yeah. See, see in the picture, both of them are facing them. She said, well, how, are you, how do you concentrate on what you're watching if his TV is right side by side? Because she said, yeah, the TVs are side by side. And so she said, well, how are you going to watch what you're supposed to be watching? His TV is right next to yours. She said, how, how do y'all even, how can you hear? She said, because I got Bluetooth. She said, I put my TV in my ear. He put his TV in his ear. And she said, oh, she said, oh, my God. She said, I don't even have a TV in my bedroom. Never had a TV in my bedroom. I'm telling y'all, I'm not even tripping. All this was going on in the nail salon tonight. And so, <laughs> but, honey, let me tell you, that won't, that won't even the kick in the head. Y'all, y'all ready for this? So, anyway, I'm just, you know, just chilling i'm just you know listening to her ask her all them quick like, listen i'm not even I, I can't even remember some of the stuff she asked her it was so outrageous i said oh my god i just couldn't be that nosy <laughs> so anyway this other lady comes in and so when the lady by this time the town inquisitor she done she's done got all her stuff done so she's just under the nail dryer waiting for her nails to get dry so this other lady walks in she was a black woman she walked in and so she sat down and you know they start tending to her and so immediately the town inquisitor says oh my god do do you look like uh this woman that played in the movie one of them tyler perry movies and she said, you're not her, are you? So the lady said, no. She said, oh, my God, you look just like shit. And so the lady start, you know how people start, oh, oh, trying to think, trying to think, trying to think of who it was. So anyway, she never did, could come up with the name uh, of who this person was that she thought she looked like. And she said, man, you sure do look familiar. So she got to talking to this woman and she did the same thing. Well, where are you from? Where you, you know, what's your hair? How your hair grow? You know, did your back have bumps on them? You know, all these questions. She started asking this woman. I'm, and I'm not even lying. She started asking her a whole bunch of questions because she was trying to pinpoint what she knew this woman from. So they start going down this lineage, you know. 
Because I'm telling you, that woman was just so inquisitive. And then she said, you know what? I'm wondering, do you know so-and-so? She, she called out some man's name. I can't remember what it was. She said, do you know so-and-so? She said, you know what? You probably do because everybody know him. He want nothing but a troublemaker and blah, blah. And she went going on and on. And on. When I tell you she went on and on about this man. And like I said, I was dozing in and out because I really was tired. But I got so tickled. I said, you know what, Tanya? Don't even don't even tune yourself into that. Because by this time, I don't got moved from the, you know, the bubble bath for my feet. And I'm over here now getting my nails portion done. So I'm further up in the salon, so I can I can hear her talking and asking questions, but I said sort of just going and tuned her out. But when she started talking about this man, because she was like got excitable and said, "Oh yeah, everybody know him. He ain't nothing but a troublemaker," and um, you probably know who I'm talking about. And so she just kept right on, kept right on, and just des de describing this man. And so guess what? I wanted to run out of the nail salon. Y'all ready for this? Let me take another bite. Mmm, that's a good omelet. The woman said, Oh, yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about. She said, you're talking about, and she named it again. She named the guy's name, and I, like I said, I can't remember. She said, I got two children by him. <laughs> she said, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I got two boys by him. Two sons. She said, two sons. Honey. And I know y'all, please forgive me. I know I'm gossiping, Lord forgive me. But this was just ju too juicy not to tell. But there's a lesson behind this. But when I'm gonna tell you, when she said that, honey, you could have heard a pin drop. And it wasn't that many people left in there. I think there was like four people in there, four or five people, including the people, uh, the husband and wife that does. It was like. And so the woman, she, you could, it was like the life drained out of her body. She could have slid all the way up under there and got that nail polish that had fallen earlier. She, I, when I tell you, she was so outdone. And I did, I just turned around and looked right on her face when she said it. Cause I was just like, uh, what you going to say now? And of course, she went into uh, on the apology tour. Oh, I'm so and so. And she said, that's all right. She said, that's fine. And that was the end of that sh total shutdown. She didn't ask or say anything else to that woman. It, all you could hear was the fans and the drills going in there. But you know, I said all that to say this. I stay in a small community. Like I'm sitting up here talking. Who knows who will see my video. You never know who's watching your videos. Oh well if you see it. Oh well. Because here's the lesson in that. Honey let me tell you something. Be careful. And I've told. I've say this to. Listen I tell this to people all the time. Be careful who you're out in public talking about. Because you never know if you're talking to, to, to their kinfolk. Their relatives. You just never know. Yeah. And even on this platform. I mean you know. Uh, yeah, there's a few things I've talked about on this platform that I probably shouldn't, but y'all already know I was upset concerning my neighbor, my ex-neighbor. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but for the most part, you know, I don't, I don't do that. Um, 
But anyway, like I said, the lesson there is, I mean, you better be careful how you come at people in public. You start running your mouth and start talking about this one and that one, you know, to a complete stranger. It's different if you know somebody and y'all are discussing whatever. That's one thing. But to just go out of your face and blah, 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 jaw jack, jaw jack. And you don't know who you talking to. And that's how it is in these small communities. Small communities, honey. Let me tell you, your business will meet you around the corner, but when it get back to you, it's going to be uh, told 10 different ways, you know. This is what I was talking about, and, and that's so funny. I'm glad this happened, actually, because I did, I did a video this morning that I'm going to upload on my main channel, and I was talking about keeping your mouth closed and stop telling everybody your business. Because people who sin with you will definitely sin against you. So anyway, and that was just so funny how right here at the end of my day, the very thing happened in the nail salon. That woman was talking and running her mouth and, and running that, that woman's, and you know, she, based on the conversation, you can tell that they weren't together. And even if they were, because I, like I said, after that, after she said that, honey, it was like, I'm telling you, all you saw was <laughs> nail dust and emery board uh, sounds. <laughs> oh, honey, let me tell you, I could, I really wanted to run out of the nail salon, honey. I, I was so, I thought, oh, no, that was like the ultimate, the ultimate, put your foot in your mouth. Your, your fire in your mouth, and it came back out through your rectum. I know that was graphic. Sorry about that. I, I'm telling you, that was the truest form of putting your foot in your mouth. Oh, oh. But I couldn't turn away. It was like looking at a train wreck. I could not turn away. She sure did. She said, oh, yeah, I know you're talking about. She said, I got two sons, Brown. So that's the lesson of the day, y'all. Be careful what you say to complete strangers. There's nothing wrong with being friendly, holding the conversation. But, honey, you start running down people, and you don't know who they know. Anyway, y'all. That is a perfect example that is a perfect example ooh that's good all right Arizona a minute maid gonna take the spotlight for a minute mm. That sriracha, I'm telling y'all. Ain't nothing like a good omelet. But yeah, y'all. I'm going to try to do some shout outs on my next video because. When I got home from work, I, well, I just got back home from the nail salon. I jumped right over there and started cooking. Mm. Oh my goodness, y'all, that was good. I know I was running my mouth. Mm. It was like speed round, rapid round. That woman asked that nail tech so many questions. 
I mean, before she even got my nail check, got the answer out, she had already formulated another question. That was good but you know what some people are just like some people are that nosy oh some people are that nosy oh they are oh but anyway let me go y'all because I am really tired and I don't ran my mouth long enough but forgive me Lord I repent if that was wrong but I just had to tell that y'all that was who I, I don't think I've ever been in the presence of somebody that nosy. I mean, you know how you, you know, you might have some family members that's nosy, co-workers, friends, you know, they, they just always, you know, the rapid fire, 20 questions. They've got to know everything. Yes. But I'm telling y'all the kinds of questions she was asking her. I just would have never been able to form my mouth to ask no questions like that. Like intimate detail, I mean intimate type questions. And I'm like, Whoa! I'm telling you, I was waiting on her. I was waiting on her to start start talking in her native languages. Start. I thought she was, uh, yeah, I thought she was going, but she didn't. She didn't. And maybe she's used to it. So I guess, Tanya, you need to shut up. Maybe she's used to that. Folks asking her a whole bunch of questions like that. I just, I, I ooh. Ooh. Oh. Anyway, let me go, y'all. Let me go. Whew. Time. Anyway, let me go. Thank y'all for stopping on the flavor train because what? What? Flavor is where it's at. Good night, y'all. And don't be so nosy.